Hi, I'm Tina here. Today we're going to be making Queen Charlotte Island halibut cheeks from the Fisherman's Market with cream leeks. So we're going to start by chopping our leeks. So we're just going to use the white part of the leek, it's the most tender, and you just want to make sure that there's no dirt in between, give that a good rinse. We're just going to start with our pan over medium heat. We're just going to add some butter and add our chopped leeks. We're just going to saute these for a few minutes until they turn soft. So as our leeks are sautéing, we want to make sure that we're stirring them frequently so that they don't brown. We yeah. just want them to wilt nicely. And they're looking just about perfect. So as always, we're going to season our vegetable with a little salt and pepper. And then we're going to add our white wine. And stir that throughout, let that reduce. Okay, and once our wine is reduced, then we're just going to add our heavy cream. Okay, and just cook that down until that cream is completely reduced into the leeks. Again, stirring frequently. We don't want it to burn. We want them to stay nice and green and light in color. At this stage, we're just going to check our seasoning. We just want to check. Make sure it's good. The salt and pepper, if necessary, just add a little bit more. And then just to finish, we're just going to add our lemon juice balance the richness of the cream. Cook that through, make sure that all that extra liquid is nicely reduced. So now we're ready to sear our halibut cheeks. So we'll just add a little bit of oil to our pan. It's been preheated. just going to quickly season our halibut cheeks that have been well patted dry. It's very important when you're going to be pan searing anything to make sure that it is dry otherwise it might boil a little bit just to take away any excess moisture. So add carefully to our pan. Perfect. That sound there is going to ensure our perfect sear. There we go. Now we can just season the other side. And here I'm just going to reduce the heat a little bit. We don't want it too high because we don't want them to cook too quickly. We want to make sure that they cook evenly all the way through. You don't have to take the open. And depending on size, it, uh, size oh. sorry, it takes uh, a couple of minutes per side. The small one here will probably take two minutes per side. These bigger ones, maybe four to five minutes to size. Here at the Fisherman's Market as well, we have some halibut sheets that are enormous in size. So those ones I would recommend that you start them in the pan like this, cook them for maybe two, three, four minutes on the first side, turn them over, and then maybe finish them in the oven at about 350 degrees for, again, depends on the size of them, but maybe another five to ten minutes, depending on the size. halibut cheeks are ready to plate. So we've just taken a plate here and we've just yeah. added some of our cream leeks to create a nice little bed. And then we're just going to place a nice fresh slice of tomato. And take our halibut cheek, just place it right on top. Just add your favorite little green garnish. Now this is served as an appetizer because it is a little bit decadent with the cream and the leeks and everything and the halibut cheeks themselves are quite rich. So this would be suggested to be served as an appetizer and then maybe move into a lighter entree. And here we have our Fisherman's Market Queen Charlotte Island halibut cheeks with cream leeks. <laughs>